To assemble the Sika MBCA measuring station, first ensure that you have enough space around, in front of, and above the device. You also need a box about two feet tall or an office chair, as well as a rug or a fabric you can place between the floor and the device when you assemble certain parts to avoid scratching sensitive surfaces. You've received two boxes containing all the elements of the final device. First, carefully place the weight scale upside down onto a soft, non-scratching surface. Take the cross beam and place it on the corresponding area on the scale. Place six washers onto the holes in the cross beam and tighten six M6 by 20 screws with the five millimeter Allen key. If you have a torque wrench, apply the Newton meters mentioned in the manual. Carefully flip the scale right side up. Remove the column socket cover with the 4mm Allen wrench. Put aside the cover and associated screws for later reassembly. Beneath the cover, identify the two BIA foot electrode cables. Place both cables through the cutout. Next, get the bottom column segment. Slide the segment onto the platform and ensure the proper placement of the cables. Mount the segment on the platform using a 5mm Allen wrench and four M6 by 20 screws. Remove the back cover of the handrail connector and put it aside for later reassembly. Take the components for the standing aid and tightly screw the two poles into the BIA handrail assembly. Put aside on a soft surface. Insert a flathead screwdriver into the small slits on the side of the BIA box to remove the two box covers. Put the covers aside for later use. Remove the top cable entry cover by carefully pushing the two pins outward. This frees the cover for removal. Follow the same procedure for the bottom cover. Put both covers aside for later use. Place a cardboard box or a chair in front of the device and tilt the unit forward until the column rests on the raised surface. Now lift the BIA standing aid over the column and align the two poles with the holes in the crossbeam. Guide the two BIA hand electrode cables from the center of the standing aid through the opening at the top of the handrail connector. Attach the railing to the handrail connector using the two M6 by 20 screws Then attach the poles to the crossbeam with the two M8 by 40 screws. Now you can tilt the device into its upright position. Next, connect the display to the display mounting bracket with the M4 by 12 screw using the 2.5 millimeter Allen key. Then connect the display mounting bracket to the BIA standing aid rail with two M3 by 12 screws using the 2.5 millimeter Allen key. Next, connect the cable originating in the platform and labeled 5 to socket 5 in the BIA box. Connect cable 6 from the platform with socket 6 in the BIA box. Connect the cable from the handrail labeled 1 into socket 1 in the BIA box. 
connect cable 4 from the handrail to socket 4 in the BIA box. Route the cable away from the BIA box so that no tension is applied to the connector on the BIA box. Carefully stow excess cable in the handrail. Connect the longer connection to the Sika device bus socket in the top right of the BIA box. Guide the cable through the cable duct of the column and the cutout of the handrail connector. Then connect it into a socket at the back of the display. Connect the short connection cable into the remaining socket on the scale. Then connect the other end of the cable to the Sika device bus at the bottom right-hand socket of the BIA box sockets. Remove the small cable entry cover from the handrail connector cover using cutting pliers. Then reattach the cover to the handrail connector. Reinsert the cable entry covers into the BIA box and attach the box covers. Measure the cover profiles to fit the open portions of the cable duct. Use a wire cutter or scissors to cut the covers and insert the pieces into the duct. Reattach the column socket cover with the 4mm Allen key. Follow the instructions in the operating manual to put the device into operation.